welcome to your tarot reading forecast with guidance from your ancestors and past loved ones for the month of September 2022. Aries, we're going to start with tarot. Two for your past, two for your present, and two for your future. Also, Aries, Check out your sun, moon, and rising signs as there can be another message there for you. First card, the emperor number four. Next card, the impressed number three. Wow. Great. Next card. The Ace of Wands in reverse. Next. The Queen of Wands in reverse. Next. The Six of Swords. Four of Wands in reverse. Okay, Aries, the Emperor number four. In the past, you were the one of authority. You established a strong structure. You were like this father figure, role model of your family or group or you were someone that was just mature and older with a lot of power and authority and control. Aries, you have always considered the advice of others. You have a strong bond with your family, even when they hardly express their emotional side. You always guided, motivated, and inspired others to work towards their dreams. Any recent conflicts from the past know Aries that it will come to an end. In the past, you were the leader. You held a lot of strength and wisdom and power. In the past, you developed these qualities and tapped into this masculine aspect of yourself. Aries, you were also good at reasoning and problem solving. You were good at being grounded and you learned how to develop strong mental control, even over your emotions. For some of you, this represents a father figure in your past or an individual of authority who may be present in your current life. It could be someone of a high influence in business, a job, career, or a wise friend, or a friend who uses logic and reason to create a positive outcome from your past. This person in your past made you feel like you should act like a leader, an expert, to exert your will by incorporating these forms, this structure, way of being into ideas, plans, and foundations. In the past, Aries, when it came to making a choice, you approached it from a place of wisdom, rationality, logic, and grace, rather than one of foolishness, greed, or self-centeredness. In the past, the way you acquired handling this power that you had, this authority, no Aries that now is being tested. Also, Aries, the emperor is a representation of Aries, so I will be doing an extended reading using the emperor. Now, with number three, the empress, you know how to balance your masculine and feminine qualities, Aries. You're a beautiful soul, you're nurturing, 
and you're protective of the ones closest to you. You're full of abundance in all ways and stability. Some of you in the past may have given birth to a child or a new project or a new way of life, a new way of thinking. Whether it was a beautiful and plentiful childhood or a fulfilling job or career that paid well, you came from a stable foundation. You were nurtured and cared for and you prioritized your creative endeavors. Some of you are mothers, something to do with the pregnancy and motherhood in your past. Whatever the case may be, this is forming the foundation for your current situation. With the Ace of Wands in reverse, right now, currently, you have an idea that's emerging, but you have a lot of distractions going on, Aries, a lack of direction, a lot of delays are happening. And you're feeling this lack of energy, a lack of passion, and you're just outright bored. You're bored. You're not sure whether you should move forward with this or not. And I'm hearing this is a good idea. You're feeling like this just isn't you, Aries. You lost your enthusiasm. You lost the positive energy. You're waiting for a renewed spiritual strength to come in. In the beginning, it was a new idea full of exciting adventures. You don't feel the powerful force of spirit flowing through you like you have in the past. Right now, you don't have a sense of purpose. You're feeling like you're not being all that you can be. You're not reaching inside. You're not tapping into that force within. You have to tap into the force within in order to move forward and set up a strong foundation for the future, Aries. And only then will you feel the excitement and joy and begin to benefit from the spark of life that is emerging from you. People are gonna wonder, what's your secret? When your energy is ignited and you're on your own journey, for some of you, a spiritual journey, always follow your intuition, Aries. Know that this is your time to spread your wings and fly. With the Queen of Wands in reverse, you're feeling introverted. Here we go again. You're trying to reestablish yourself, your wants, your needs. You're not your usual cheerful self. Again, you feel a loss of energy. You haven't been feeling self-assured or even attractive for that matter. You don't feel like you're in a good place when it comes to love, money, and friends. With the Six of Swords in the future, Aries, you're going through a transition. Give yourself a chance because change is happening. And this is the reason why for all of this feeling out of sorts, you're releasing old baggage. You're looking for, for some of you, you're looking for a peaceful resort to get, to just get away, to just get away. You're gonna be feeling this sense of sadness. You're looking for an escape, for some peace of mind. You're looking for this inner peace and, and no Aries, you're going through a transition and you're traveling through this recovery. Now, for those of you who are on a spiritual journey, this is the up and down roller coaster ride that we all go through. You just gotta ride the waves and not let it affect you. Just look at it and let it pass. And if you need to find an escape and find a place that you can be in peace, I suggest you do so. Know that there is light at the end of the tunnel. Know that a difficult cycle in your life is coming to an end. Know, Aries, that you have grown from your past experiences and you will be much stronger for it. 
You're going through a healing process and know that you can move forward setting your goals and objectives to secure a more positive and successful future moving forward because your mind will be more settled and less worried. Synchronistic events will bring the right conditions and introduce people into your life for your highest good. Now, with the Four of Wands in reverse, there's a celebration. Inner harmony is going to take place. You may come into some conflict with others because you're making this transition. Not everyone is going to approve of you taking off or going through this change in your life. Now, Aries, you've been for a long time now trying to build and establish a strong and solid foundation for yourself. And you deserve this. And it's time for you to harvest the rewards for your efforts. What you have sown, you now can reap. So you need to be open, Aries. You've worked hard and you have given so much. So allow the universe to give back to you. But there has to be an even exchange of giving and receiving in order to pump the gratitude and reinforce the law of attraction here. Try to enjoy this time moving forward, Aries, and relax because you deserve to relax. Know that nothing remains stagnant forever because you are going through a change right now. And change is inevitable for you, Aries. And moving forward, I do see you're going to come into conflict with others, whether it's family members or friends that are not gonna like this new you, this change in your life. So just be prepared moving forward to see this happen and let them fall away, Aries, let them fall away. So I will be doing an extended reading. Now back to the emperor, a representation of Aries, which is your card in the major arcana. When it comes to love and relationships, if you are single and interested in men, the emperor can indicate a romantic relationship with an older man that's coming in. He will have a lot of structure about him, organization, skills, order, and strict principles and routines. He will be a good influence on you, but romance is not his strong point, Aries. He is practical, dependable, but he is protective. Now, if you are single and interested in women, you need to be more open with your feelings. Aries know that if you have feelings for someone in particular, you need to bite the bullet and tell her. Tell her flat out. Don't expect her to guess. Now for those in relationships, if you have been experiencing relationship problems, they will begin to improve and stability will return to the relationship. Well, that's good news. Aries, when it comes to your health, you may be being too hard on yourself. You, you need to reduce or eliminate activities that are too harsh on your body. Avoid pushing exercise methods and be kind to yourself. Work with your energy levels, not against them, Aries. And if you are having health issues, be logical in your approach to treating them. The suck it up and get on with it approach will not serve you as well this time. So if you need to rest, rest. If, you, if you're ill, seek medical treatment and listen to your doctor's advice. Aries, with your spirituality, you are neglecting the spiritual part of yourself for the more physical and material side. You need to make time for your spiritual activities. 
your spiritual calling, your spiritual business, and try not to let the logical, rational part of your mind take over and stop you from exploring your sensitive side. You need to ground and protect your energy at all times. Aries, when it comes to your money and career, your hard work will be noticed and you will reap the rewards of status and success. Concentration, focus, and perseverance will get you where you want to go. Now, an older male or boss will provide guidance and support financially along the way or in the future. If you are looking for work, you will need to be persistent and logical in your job search. Good opportunities are coming in that will bring structure and stability to your career. You need to be responsible and practical with your finances, Aries. Take control of your spending and be aware of where your money is going. And that was your extended reading, Aries. So now, now I'm being called to pull from some angel answers because I feel you need some answers. Now, you may want to ask yourself the question and I'll pull you the angel answer, Aries. Let's get some guidance from my enlightened Aries. And then we're going to get some guidance from your ancestors and past loved ones. Get a message for my enlightened Aries. Let's get a message for my enlightened Aries. Ask yourself the question, Aries. And let's get the answer. Perfect timing. No Pisces that everything happens in perfect timing. And you'll know when that perfect time comes. Let's get another answer. Enlighten Aries for my ask yourself another question, Aries. Ask yourself another question. And let's get the answer from the angels. Get an angel answer. My enlightened Aries. Compromise. You may need to weigh the pros and the cons and compromise your situation or with others. Now let's see what your ancestors have to say about it all. <laughs> let's get some guidance from your ancestors and past loved ones some guidance from your ancestors and past loved ones for my enlightened Aries. Spirit Fox, trust your talents in changing times. This card's been coming up a lot for my enlightened ones. So Aries, trust your talents in changing times. You're going through a transformation here. You're going through a transformation. So trust your journey. Don't get engulfed in the roller coaster ride of emotions. This is a past loved one that is your spirit guide, Aries. And they want you to stay alert as change is coming in. They want you to know that the energies around you are changing at this time and although it may not always be comfortable you are equipped with all that you need to survive this shift this transition this change you are being presented with opportunities to reach spaces you've never encountered before aries and this can make you feel on edge but be open to the shifts that are occurring in your life right now because they really are the answers to your prayers. Come out from being in this dark room and reveal your gifts and talents, your past
past loved one wants to help you be seen for who you are, Aries, and trust in your talents in order to be the best you can be in these changing times. Wow, I am vibrating and shaking and I got goosebumps and chills the whole nine yards, Aries, with this reading. Let's get another message for my enlightened Aries from their ancestors or past loved ones. And sometimes our past loved ones can be spirit guides. I had an aunt that passed that was a spirit guide for me. I was surprised when I found out. We really didn't get along, if you know what I mean. I was like, really? <laughs> okay, next message. High Priestess. Wow, Aries, you have the High Priestess coming in for you. Intend and create. This is an ancestor coming in as the High Priestess saying, Aries, set your intentions. Start manifesting and creating. What are you doing? Recognize that you have the power to change your life. Face your fears and align with the light. Now, Aries, you are at a bridge between heaven and earth, and it's important for you to know that you are more powerful and connected than you may think. You may think that right now, I don't feel any motivation. I don't feel connected to spirit, but you are more powerful and connected than you think. Everything you are giving attention to and energy to at this time is creating your way forward, even if it doesn't look that way. There have been some setbacks, yes, but accept these experiences that have led you to a deeper understanding of yourself and your spirit. Know, Aries, that you are being guided by your ancestors and past loved ones to direct your thoughts and energies towards what you want to grow, heal and expand, and then watch it happen. Aries, watch it happen right before your eyes. Watch it happen. Wow. Let's get one more message for my enlightened Aries with some chakra love. one more message one more message vulnerability throat chakra you may want to pick up a sodalite crystal for healing of your throat chakra something that you need to say vulnerability showing vulnerability is a sign of strength aries so you may be feeling quite vulnerable at this time this time of change know that vulnerability is a sign of strength and you're healing at the same time so give yourself a chance and tap into your strength and courage that you know yourself to be aries and that is your tarot reading forecast for September 2022. And I'm sending you lots of love and light. Take care.